Last up, this was scary, and I want to bring this up because this is going to be a big year. Uh, 2021, I've always said, is going to be a big year. Uh, it's they're, 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 We're going to have peaks and valleys. We're going to have some pullbacks. We're going to have massive runs. And it's not about what you make. It is what you keep. I've already talked to somebody who has been scammed out of a large part of their uh, holdings from their atomic wallet. I'm going to have her on the show this week to explain what not to do. Basically, don't give away your mnemonic phrases. And then we have this story, which I'm like, I'm still flabbergasted after this. I'm like, who does this? So this is what happened. I don't want you to do this. So crypto user known as Onar claimed to have lost uh, 2.6 Bitcoin. And if you believe what we just talked about, Menard was talking about from, from Guggenheim, that's going to go to 400,000. You're looking at a million bucks you just lost uh, from the transfer of his wallet to a new computer acquired during the Christmas holidays. He wiped the hard disk of his, this is what's weird. He wiped the hard disk of his old computer, which he wanted to use only for work related matters. However, he didn't check the password manager. He used to store the passphrases needed to access the wallet's private keys. Owner to tell that he had already encrypted backups of his private keys on two USB drives stored in separate locations. He then plugged one of the USB drives into the computer to verify everything was working, and it didn't work. <laughs> That's what it was. Although the crypto user admitted that alleged, alleged device would be more convenient than the way he was doing it, he believed it was, wasn't unsafe. And he talks about some more stuff, but basically he said, hey, it's my fault. I screwed up. So this is the thing. Password managers and putting things somewhere else and putting them on your phone or putting in your hard drive is dumb. Don't do that. I mean, you can encrypt it and go through all this stuff, but if you're really tactical, do whatever you want to do. Me personally, what I do is I write them down in this thing called a stone book. If you haven't seen this, I'm sure you have. You've been on my site. Uh, this is what I write down all my mnemonic phrases. It's a very simple book. It's made from stone. So what was the last of lifetime? We'll find out. Tear, oil, water resistance, and it actually saves everything. You can use this cool James Bond pen, and it's pretty cool. I just like it because it's all right there. And if you know my story, I lost 20,000 Cardano recently because I had them on. I had I had all my, my mnemonic phrases on different slips of paper that I put. I, I thought I put it in, in the right place and uh, just wasn't there. So <laughs> it's gone. So that sucks. Uh, but this this happened, uh, you know, back in the back last year um, and that's just how it is so i actually have two shield folios uh, i have one here one is my safety deposit box so if my like my home burns down or something like that i've got a backup but if you want something like that uh dan users get 20 percent off it's in the description below and that is it so that is it for today i know it was a little bit uh, longer side for the news but uh, i just want you to remember a couple of things first of all this is going to be a big year uh, we are prone to pullbacks uh, between 20 and 30 percent. And uh, if you believe in the four year cycles and where things are going, then uh, this is a much different year. This isn't 2017 where everything was built on hopes, dreams and vaporware and white papers. This is a lot different. I think it's going to be a big year. And uh, that's uh, really all I got. So thanks for watching. If you like these types of videos, I mean, two months going to pop up on your left and right. Not for sure. Let YouTube do their magic. And that's all. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.